I'm back again. We're going to do a series today. A serious series. Let's talk about the war in... Um, no, I don't know what we're talking about. Serious. That's what happened when I said how you get serious. I don't know what to talk about. I just Yeah, yeah. So YouTube keeps sending me emails on how to grow my viewership and all that jazz. I mean, it'd be cool if I made money, yeah. But, I just like to ramble. Let's get some cooler air going in here. It's kind of warm out there. It's in the 50s. I definitely should be riding my motorcycle. That's what we call hot in winter. And it's still winter for like four more days. 19, 20, 21, three more days, not counting today. Which today is still half empty. Half finished. Half finished would be optimistic, right? What's What's the pessimistic way to look at that? It's not even halfway done yet? Halfway done would be optimistic, right? Oh, it's halfway done. Half, it's not even halfway started, man. Is that it? I've asked my students that before. What's the pessimistic way to look at assignments? Not started, that's not pessimism. Pessimism though, that's procrastination. Pessimism, I'm not even halfway done. I'm not even, not even? Yeah? Just so you know, I've, I've said this to a few people. Uh, the old, the old statement on whether a glass is half empty, half full. Those are the only two possibilities. You're either an optimist or a pessimist. I do not agree with that. The glass in, in uh, some people's mind could always be full. Right? Half empty, half full, always full. Regardless of how much liquid's in there, it's always full. Just full of different things, right? It's always full of something. Unless it's in a vacuum, then it's full of emptiness. But still full of something, it's full of nothing in that case. But if it's not full of water or a liquid, it's full of air. If it's halfway full of uh, a liquid, then it's halfway full of that and halfway full of the other one. So that's there's optimism, pessimism, and logicism. I don't think logicism is a word per se, but we're making it up for the sake of this argument. For this argument, I make up some words. Anyone know how to clear a uh, stuffy nose, like permanently stuffy nose? Get like a drill bit. Oh, I got my brain. I know what you're thinking. Must have got a long drill bit because there's not much brain left. Hey, yo. Man, what, what could they have done if they had a drill bit on that hook? <laughs> How highly thought of were the embalmers? They pretty well thought of. Wasn't anybody that was involved in the process buried alive with the... Were they buried alive or did they kill them? If they were buried alive, is that why they put all the gold and food and stuff in there so they could live for a little bit? It wasn't really for the afterlife, right? As ancient astronaut theorists believe. I love ancient aliens. Don't get me wrong. It's amazing. It's fan such fantastic history they go over. Even the even the alien stuff that they talk about is pretty cool. But man, is it a stretch sometimes. 
what if it were aliens? Uh, but what if it were not aliens? But what if it were drag queens? But what if it were astronauts? Also aliens, but different. But what if it were restaurateurs? But what if it were leopards? Not lepers, leopard does, leopards, leopards. But what if it were giraffes? But what if it were fire? But what if it were static electricity buildup? But what if it were angels? But what if it were sand creatures? Not from like Star Wars because of copyright, but literally creatures made of sand. But not like Sandman from from Marvel, you know, the Spider-Man villain. Like real life creatures made of sand. Oh my goodness. If you haven't seen Extras, that's a rated R, rated TV mature British sitcom with Ricky Gervais. Oh, it is so hilarious. Oh. It's got uh, Patrick Stewart in there, Sir Patrick Stewart. But it's got all these actors in there. They give them advice uh, on how to be an actor uh, or how to write their script. And Patrick Stewart is like, I've got one I'm working on. You know, the, you know that character of Professor Xavier I play in X Men, right? How he's got those powers he can he can do stuff with his mind. It's like that, but I but it, but for real, like I can really do that. Like I could really, like when we're walking down the street and there's a girl in a dress and I just make all her clothes fall off, and she tries to cover it up, but it's too late. It's too late. I've seen everything. I've seen it all. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, not that that part is necessarily funny, but the whole Sir Patrick Stewart talking about that. It's pretty funny. Uh, Jean-Luc Picard. Oh. I probably need to get off of the freeway here. That means bumpier roads. Pretty funny. The series is pretty TV mature. It's British. Uh, they just don't think of things the same way as we do here in our conservative America. I love it though. And then the ending, oh my goodness. The ending is fantastic. The last episode, Ricky Gervais's character goes, he gets famous and he finally, at the end, he's not as famous anymore. He's like a second rate uh, actor-ish now and he goes on the, like the big brother thing and in the end he's just like, why, why are we doing this? Like why are we try trying to bastardize ourselves and and, and prostitute ourselves out just for a little extra fame and a little extra money is just not worth it. It's a pretty, it's pretty powered speech, a uh, powerful speech that he goes goes and gives, and, and he walks off the show to his his best friend. Uh, anyway, it's it's a hilarious hilarious premise, and I'm gonna go over this way. The ending is is uh, makes it worth it. If you don't like the crudeness of it, the ending's pretty good. So that little light in the back there, I keep seeing it out of the corner of my eye. It makes me feel like my hair is just just sticking out right there. Not that my hair is that long, but when it starts to get a little bit longer, I, I wake up. I, I tend to lay on this side more, and it just I lay it flat right there, and there's a so that's what I'm thinking it is. Even though I done did, done did, done did shower this morning. Oh, you showered. Oh. Soap on your body. Whoa. Shoulders. That's awkward. I'm sorry. But it's too late. I already said it. <laughs> it's out there. Come on. Turn green. There we go. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh, solar flare. Solar flare. You know who does solar flare? I'll tell you who does the solar flare. Tien, the guardian and protector of Yamcha, of not Yamcha, of Chao Tzu in Dragon Ball Z. Solar flare! <laughs> yes, I watched Dragon Ball Z. I wish I could still watch it, but alas, it's not on Hulu or Netflix that I know of, or Amazon Prime. It should be. I would watch the crap out of it.
I wish though they would take and shorten up the dust sequences and the grunting sweat sequences because there's sequences where that dust and sweat takes like a whole episode to diminish so you can see oh it's their new form oh I got the hiccups you know what I mean Vern know what I mean know what I mean know what I mean sucker was that old Mar uh, Marlon Wayans or his older brother one of the Wayans brothers had a movie I'm gonna get you sucker I always wanted to rent it because I always saw it at the Hollywood video when it was still around I felt so adult when I had a card to Hollywood Video or Blockbuster. Oh, big bump coming up. Oh, 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 I hate that. It's worse on my motorcycle, that's for sure. Yeah, what movies there was? I'm gonna get you, sucker. I wonder, was that one of the Black Sportation films? Like Blackula? Does that count as that? Or they just took, anyway. Oh boy. Why can't they just make a Dracula and then have Dracula be black? Instead of Blackula. Oh, and let's and, and, and let's just make the, the character's got to have soul, right? Because stereotypes. Shaft. There's a new Shaft movie coming out. Oh my goodness. Got three generations of Richard Roundtrees. I mean of of Detective Shafts, Richard Roundtree being the original, followed by Sam L. Jackson, followed by, I don't know who the younger kid is that's playing the new Shaft. I like those movies. I don't know if they're considered black exploitation, but I liked them. The one with Richard, with uh, Samuel L. Jackson, I call him Samuel L. Jedi, because of Mace Windu. He, uh, Christian Bale was the bad guy in that movie. He was a racist. He was a racist mofo in that movie. My favorite. Oh crap, who was the character? I can't even remember his name. The character in that movie. He grabbed a. Because Christian Bale was saying all sorts of racist stuff. Oh, I can see his face, but I can't think of his name. He got a couple of holes in his white, na uh, white tissue at the restaurant. And he walked by dropped it on his face. I think he dropped something. Oh my goodness. That's probably one of the best slams in a movie I've ever seen. I think he dropped something. Put that white thing over his face. Oh, he got so mad. That's what, uh, yeah, that's what led to the, the hate crime. Christian Bale's character beating the crap out of him to death. I can't remember. I haven't seen that in a long time. But that was, that was awesome. I think he dropped something. Good flick right there. Plus, you know, Isaac Hayes did the music. I can't make the noises, obviously. But <laughs> I talked to the jazz band, the band leader here at uh, the school I teach at, and said, hey, there's nothing that gets people going like Shaft, the theme song, right? You need to get people, get the, it's not much, just the, and then a bass, and then a guitar. And then you can get some other instruments in there too. But man alive, does that get you going? Yes, sir. -y. I don't even remember what the heck I was talking about. Oh, videos. I'm gonna get you, sucker. There was another video my friends and I always, we always used to want to want to rent. We were a little afraid to always rent this one though. It was called Cheerleading Ninjas Three. We didn't know there was a Cheerleading Ninjas One and Two, but there was Cheerleading Ninjas Three. We were always gonna rent it, but we never ended up doing it. I think we were scared. One of our my, mommies might have found out. And oh, what are you doing watching Cheerleading Ninjas 3? What is that, porn? We don't even know, because we haven't seen it. Anyway, I'm at my second destination, which you can't read in the back. Anyway, you probably can, that's all right. People know where I live. It's scary. Shh. So I'm gonna take off. Y'all have a wonderful day. This is part two of probably part two. Maybe there'll be a part three for today. That How would that be? For now, it's part two of two. We'll see you later.